hello uh, we did the sign up process now it's a time for the sign in process in our project let me explain in last lecture we just inserted the record once we insert the record now it's a time to validate the entries uh, it is uh, inserted properly or not so what i will do i will first <clears throat> move to my project and uh, i will add the new activity so new activity and the activity is empty activity in empty activity i will uh, just give the name of the activity is a sign in activity in sign in activity what our uh, task is i just want to uh, <coughs> get the uh, email address and the password from the user once user enter the email address and the password I just want to validate with my SQLite database it is properly or not. So let's just check <clears throat> it is working properly or not. Now in my uh, sign in activity what I will do I will uh, first from the palette I will uh, take the design view and in design view I will uh, take the email address from the user once enter uh, user enter the email address then uh, we will take the password from the user we will validate the entries of the user uh, email id and password uh, with our SQLite database that we had created earlier in uh, my first video now <clears throat> user can click on the sign in button and this button uh, we will just change the name of the button that the, this button is sign in button so whenever user click on this button the button name is <coughs> button number two whenever user click on this button number two what i want to do i just want to uh, want that user is valid or not i just want to check the same so what i'm doing see <coughs> this is my activity sign in uh, we will uh, retrieve the data so uh, nothing we need to do I will just uh, create an instance of the helper class uh, variable helper is equal to my DB helper in my my DB helper I will just pass the application context one more variable is required for the SQLite database so uh, we will just uh, read the data so DB is equal to helper dot readable database will uh, re uh, create an instance of the SQLite database then I am creating the cursor so db dot row query now it's a time to retrieve the data of the selected users only so whenever user click on this button number two i want to validate the data so i'm i'm doing nothing i'm just checking i'm just creating that button dot to button two dot set on click listener whenever user click on button number two it means whenever user click on sign in button i will just check select star from users where username is equal to question mark and password is equal to question mark obviously i need to provide these two arguments over here so i will just take the one uh, variable that is ox is equal to we uh, need a string array so i'm just creating a list of the first argument is edit text number three dot text that is for the email id and the second argument is edit text number four this is for the password once you get all this we will convert it into two typed array and we will pass this ox array over here so what it will do it will just match your username with this edit text number three and the password with this edit text number four if the record is available right so if rs dot move to next uh, if record is available then we will just uh, uh, pass one toast that uh, uh, welcome for our application so welcome to access our application welcome to access and toast dot uh, for how much duration you want to display so I am just passing the toast dot show in else case I will just copy the same context uh, same uh, same content and I will just pass here uh, the credential is invalid so invalid credential right let me check it is working or not 
we had uh, inserted two records one is pcsukla password is pcs path at gmail.com the password is atmia as well as as well as we check the uh, also uh, we inserted uh, three records in our previous screen once this uh, is executed but what happened to our application it by default loading the activity that we had created in the previous lecture so we we need to do what we just need to launch our this sign in activity first so you just need to move to android manifest files then from in uh, you just need to cut this intent filter launcher and paste into sign in activity what it will do it will load your sign in activity first in, instead of sign up activity so uh, sign in activity is loaded over here and you can just check pc shukla at aits.edu.in but i am passing the password wrong that is atmia atmia is not my password so it will give me invalid credential i am just passing here pcs and definitely it will give me welcome to access it means my application is running perfectly